Can you connect a USB headset to your iPhone or iPad using a lightning to USB adapter? In this video, you're gonna find out. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. And in this series, my Will It USB series, I'm taking my Lightning to USB 3 adapter and plugging a bunch of stuff into it to see if it will work here in iOS. And today we've got this one, a Jabra USB headset. So I've been asked this a bunch of times to say, Pete, I wanna use my headset to play back my audio and have a microphone here. Can I plug in a USB headset into my iPad or iPhone, so that's what we're about to find out. Let's jump in. Now this particular headset, in fact the whole range of these Jabra headsets are super cool because they actually have a three and a half mil jack built in here. So if you want to use this just with your microphone or your headphone input there, your TRRS jack on your iPhone or your iPad, you can use it straight out of the box. But if you didn't have one that actually had this and it was just USB, then you may want to know if we can use USB. There'll be links in the description to where you can pick up these Jabra headsets because they are really, really cool. But this one actually has an adapter here where we plug in our TRRS RS into that end and then we have a USB connection at the other end. So what we're going to do is plug the USB into our lightning to USB adapter here. Now if you're not familiar with these lightning to USB 3 adapters, super cool. There's a link down in the description and up the top there to where you can check out a video all about these and also a link to where you can pick one up if you want one for your home or mobile studio. So let's now plug this in. I've got audio shares audio recorder running here and you can see at the moment it's using my voice. So it's actually recording just from the built-in microphone here. Once we plug this in, let's uh, see what happens here. So we'll plug it into the end there. And there we go, it turns on here, the lights are on there. And we get this familiar thing, cannot use accessory, Jabra Evolve, uh, this accessory uses too much power. That's a bit of a shame because the idea of using a USB headset may be that we want to be able to actually use it, you know, on the go. So if we need to have more power, we're gonna have to turn to our powered USB hub to actually use this, which means we need to be plugged into AC power. So let's try that now. It looks like it's all okay here, but yeah, it's definitely telling us we can't use this accessory, too much power. Power. So into the picture comes our powered USB hub. Now I've got a whole video all about powered USB hubs. That'll be linked up the top and in the description. And I'll also have links to where you can pick up a powered USB hub if you want one for your mobile setup because they are super handy for situations like this where you've got gear that needs to use more power. So a lot of USB microphones, USB audio interfaces don't have enough power supply just by the iPad or iPhone to actually work. And the reason I'm using my iPad and not my iPhone to test this is if it doesn't have enough power on the iPad, it's not going to have enough power on the iPhone. So what we're going to do now is we're going to unplug from here and we actually need to now plug this USB hub directly into here. So that is now connected and what that does is gives us all seven of these ports or however many ports you have that we can actually connect into. So now we can try plugging our headset into our hub and seeing what happens. So here we go, we're going to plug into one of these ports. That's plugged in there. The lights have come on here again on our headset and nothing's happened there, which is a good sign. And if we just give this a little tap, it may be coming through this headset. We're just gonna try and work out. So we can tap here, we can tap on the light there, which is our mute button there on the headset. And when we've muted it, ba 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 ba, nothing's coming through, we'll unmute. Check one, two. Yeah, it's all coming through. So it's actually looking pretty good. Let's put this headset on now and do a quick recording test here to see exactly what is going to happen here. So what I'll do is we'll turn on monitoring on audio share here. Check one, two, three. So yeah, that seems to be coming through now. If we hit record, we're testing whether my Jabra headset is going to record and give me good quality audio here on my iPad. We'll hit stop on that one. And you'll hear that that will go away. And there is our recording. So what I'll do now, actually it still seems to be monitoring. So we'll come back in here, we'll turn monitoring off. There we go. And now if we come back out of here, we'll close out of there. Let's play this back and see what sort of quality that we actually get here with this recording. We'll hit play. We're testing whether my Jabra headset is going to record and give me good quality audio here on my iPad. 
So there you go, that seems to be functioning pretty well. Now the challenge here is that we need to actually plug this into power to use it. So I don't know quite how useful that's going to be having to take your USB headset and a power supply like a USB hub with you to plug in. It seems to defeat the purpose of using something like this for your audio. But yes, the microphone's working, the audio playback is working through into the headphones of here. It's creating a USB audio interface just by using this. We've got our mute button that's functioning there making the noises there. It's all sounding good and working well here in iOS. So is this a fail or a success? Well, I would say it's somewhere in between. If you really want to use your USB headset, be warned that it may be like this one. It may use too much power. Now, I'm not going to be able to test every single USB headset. So my question to you is, if you have a Lightning to USB adapter and a USB headset, why not go ahead and test it out for yourself and see if it works? I'd love you to drop in the comments down below if you actually get this working or if it doesn't work or if there's failures for you, try it out and let me know. If you've got other USB devices, it doesn't matter how wacky they are that you would like me to test out here on this series, then drop a comment down below as well. There's two more videos that you can check out down there as well. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon and I'll see you on the next video.